Hey everybody, Turtle Monkey here with an unboxing of an Autobox B40 Charlie. This is also an installation as well, or a post-installation video as well. So uh, please stay tuned and hope you enjoy. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we got the Vox Unbox. Kind of rhymed, I liked it. Alright, so uh, as soon as my fat fingers get this thing open, we'll uh, discuss what's all inside of it. Uh, for right now, uh, we've already installed it. Uh, not final installation because we want to hide the cables a little bit better but right now it looks pretty good which uh there'll be another video just for the installation part which will be in the link in the description below but for now we'll just unbox this puppy so as soon as you open it up you see that the dash cam is well protected uh it's in that nice little foam installation stuff uh the packaging and it is it ain't gonna get damaged on the way over uh once you get everything all the plastic off it's pretty sharp little camera Nice and clean. It comes with the uh, screen covers and protectors, all that good jazz, and uh, pretty neat. It's it's pretty much ready to go right out of the package. You just gotta install it and turn it on. Now this next part's gonna go kind of fast, uh, so bear with me. I put captions in there so you guys can keep up. All right, so we have the instruction manual. We, uh, it tells you how to install it, how to set it up, all the good information you need to know. So don't lose that. We have uh, let's get that out of the way. We have the uh, power cable for your cigarette lighter. We have the safety string. We have the mounting clips to hide the cables or help hide them. We also have the actual assembly that hides the cables that attaches to the camera. Uh, we have an adhesive that actually connects the camera to the windshield. Uh, then the final is a USB cable that connects to the PC. Uh, right now, next, I'm going to show you what looks like installed. So let's go ahead and start that. Alright, here it is installed in my buddy's Nissan Altima. Uh, nice and simple, nice and clean. Uh, now this isn't the final installation because uh, it's still plugged in the cigarette lighter. He wants to plug it into where it's uh, always on. You turn the uh, keys over and it has power. But for right now this is the way we ran it until he gets that cable in. Uh, I'll show you what it actually looks like with his uh, video footage from. Alright, this is a little test drive of him uh, running around my neighborhood uh, with the dash cam. Uh, there's kind of a mean glare there at the bottom, but for the most part it's a Pretty good quality for just a simple plug and play type dash cam. Uh, now you can set it up to have the, it doesn't have the correct date and time in it right now because we just installed it. And also you can set it to say whether what vehicle it is or like if you have multiples, so it would be the front camera or rear camera. So the, that nature down at the bottom of the screen. Now it has really good sound. Uh, now the only dislike that he's had and that I've seen that I dislike is that when you're driving the quality of like be able to read license plates. You'll see here in a second when you come up on this truck and this car, you can't really, really read the license plates that well. Now the forms have said, though, since the sound is so well on it, to go ahead and like read out the license plate, which you should do anyways if you have a dash cam, just in case it doesn't catch it. It's a readout. So if you get a wreck or a fender bender or something like that, just go ahead and say, hey, I hit this type of car, and this is the license plate. That way it's captured on the video camera, or on the dash cam. Uh, for the most part, this is a really good quality camera. Uh, it says 1080p. I think it's a little less, just because it's kind of gainy. But it could be the fact that the way it's mounted and the reflection from uh, the, the dash. So just simple uh, tweaks that could be made to improve it. And uh, so far, it's so good. Uh, we like it. All right, so uh, for less than 100 bucks, you can get a decent dash cam. Install it within like five to 10 minutes, because that's all it took us. And we're not the smartest people in the world. but. Uh, good camera for under 100 bucks uh, i'll put the link for it in amazon and down in the description below i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope uh it was beneficial to you in some way or some nature to actually see what the quality of the camera will look like now that i'm rendering this video as best i can because i'm using i use the gopro so gotta make the quality look good right so uh you this is actual what the video looks like from the dash cam so if you have an idea of this one you want to get this will be able to tell you. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit that like and uh, subscribe button. See you guys.